Hello there, welcome back to the yoga, the old Git reacts of using off times reminisces. Um, today, another um, one I've just happened upon. Um, when was it? Yesterday, day before? Day before, I think. Um, and I've had a uh, flick through the tracks as usual <coughs> and um, sort of not a full listen yet. Um, it usually takes me a couple of days once I've picked up on a. Um, Something I want to listen to before I actually get around to listen to it properly. Um, but there's enough uh, I've heard already to interest me. Um, and um, I noticed, though I tried to avoid um, avoid finding out, but this is a, a band from China, or an artist from China. And I have to say that uh, I don't think... No, I'm probably right. I don't knowingly know of any Chinese artists I've got in my uh, collection. I may have, um, but uh, nothing that comes to immediate recall. Anyway, let's just crack on and see what said artiste sounds like, shall we? Victrolic Sage, if I didn't mention it. Okay, um, those of you that have been paying attention have probably noticed that uh, I've listened to more li li-fi, um, lo-fi than, um, than I uh, used to do, um, although I used to do way a long time ago as well, but uh, of late I've been getting back into more lo-fi stuff, uh, and this ain't lo-fi, it might be a bit raw, but it's definitely not lo-fi, that punches out of uh, out at you and... Um, not only that, it, uh, there's a degree of proficiency there as well, which uh, is another thing that um, doesn't necessarily impress me. I'm not a fan of um, virtuoso anything by and large, although it does matter, what, it does depend on what it is they're doing. But to by and large, I prefer things simple and uh, direct and um, flourishes fine, but uh, virtuosity uh, can take it or leave it really. However, not to say this is a virtuoso guitar player, but it's certainly proficient and uh, happily quite engaging.
it's another one of those tracks I've had a flick through um, to get sort of a sense of it. Uh, I've not heard it all the way through. I say I've not heard it fully. Uh, I flick through the whole track to get a sense, as I say, of it. Um, so I've missed bits and bobs, but um, it is fairly unrelenting. The bits I did flick into, um, which is the reason I picked it, because I was in the mood for a, um, um, a surgy, blasty type. Um, Little um, terrier of a song, although it's quite long, so it's not a little terrier. Big terrier of a song, Rottweiler of a song, shall we say? Um, but there was another track that I had a flick at, flick at as well, which was much more um, much more diverse in sound, and I nearly picked that instead. Um, but today I'm in the mood for doing this one. So um, do you know what? If enough of you people. <laughs> want me to i will do the other track as well so it depends on whether you like this or not or more particularly whether you like me waffling on about it uh, but uh, if anybody else wants to if anybody wants me to to do the the other track that um, i pondered upon um shout out <laughs> So at the beginning of this track uh, had one or two nods to the past to it, but the last uh, sort of couple of minutes at least of, um, of a much more contemporary black metal sound. Um, and there's just a little bit something different about it, um, which I can't put my finger on uh, exactly. Other than it, the sound of it clearly is, is what I'm referring to. Um, as I say, I can't. I can't quite grasp what the, what I can. I probably can't put it into words at this moment in time. So let's crack on. <laughs>
me. Um, so the melody employed um, on this track um, reminds me a little bit of Mystic Forest when when they have their over 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 melody um, lead melodies and the the thing is when you listen to this to traditional Chinese stringed instruments they have that sort of twang to it um, not a country and western twang but a, um, a sort of a slight um, slight what can I say slight slight distortion to it a sort of a, uh, I can't remember the blooming re reference um, a pitch not pitch shift but um, a, a waver to him shall we say uh, so it's as if um, Mystic Forest um, had a, um, a Chinese composer maybe using traditional Chinese influences to form those melodies I think that's where I'm trying to get to with this um, and now of course we've got into a bit of weirding which is always um, always gratifying or creates interest anyway it depends where they go with it but at the moment uh, i am interested <laughs> Sure, even better. Psycho belief. So we're soaring along now, we're, we're above the clouds really and um, swooping along um, and we've left the vocals behind for the time being which brings me to uh, the style of vocal, that sort of barky shouty vocal um, which is uh, very contemporary of course um, and so I find it gratifying from my personal taste that it is that rather than sometimes uh, this sort of music um, particularly when it's pitched at this uh, or uh, when it's at this sort of pitch is accompanied by um, a more screechy um, DSBM type um, vocals which if you get them right uh, fine but very often they, I just cringe to some of the um, some of those uh, mournful shrieks um, not to say as I say in context fine but uh i was dreading that um there'd be some of that in here which i expected to agree and it ain't there so happy days <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you go. Um, not quite sure what was going off at the end. Something traditional maybe. Um, but um, the main thing was um, that last three minutes before the fade out uh, was like following a serial arsonist about it. Setting blaze to everything. It was uh, glorious, spectacular even. Um, but as I say, not overblown and um, virtuoso. It was proficient and effective. Um, so yes, um, lots of energy in that, and as I say, it was uh, the production uh, boost was quite high. Um, it was well to the fore. Um, you weren't having to turn up your uh, volume at all to listen to that, um, and uh, it barreled along. I didn't mention any drumming or anything like that in there, but it, you know, it, there was a barrage, which always makes me happy. So um, yes, very good. I shall have to listen to the full album proper now. Um, but as I say, there is that curious ending song, which um, should anybody really care enough, uh, I will do for you. But you have to tell me that, because there's so much to do, so much music out there, and so little time to listen to it all. Clicky bollocks, catch you all next time. Cheerio.